If you have a budget or low-end Intel CPU, so to in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get 240 plus FPS in Fortnite with your any budget Intel CPU. So make sure to watch this whole video. If this is your first time here, please subscribe, drop a like on this video, and let's get straight into it. If you have not activated your Windows until now, so guys, you are missing a huge performance and some important security updates from the Microsoft. So guys, here I got the solution for you. That is the KeyFan, which offers you cheap and legal OEM software keys plus 24/7 customer services and lifetime after sale. And with that, you can enjoy the online activation. If by chance you get any invalid keys, you can get your full refund. And Anytime. So guys, you can check out here KeyFan's official website with 50% discount on Windows and Microsoft Office. So if you wanna buy any Windows key from this website, click on this buy button, use your discount code DEM50 and get 50% off on your every purchase. Now simply insert here your Windows kit and activate your Windows with genuine key. So guys, in the very first step for Intel CPU, it is important to always update your graphics driver. So right click on your Windows Start icon and open up the device manager. Now here you will find out your display adapter. So click on this drop down and here you will find out your Intel integrated GPU. You need to simply right click here, go for update driver and click on the search for automatic driver. This will guys find out the best driver for you automatically, but guys, sometimes not work for many users so for that you did open up your any browser search for intel uhd graphics 770 driver or guys search here the model of your gpu now you need to go for the second website that is list of driver for intel graphics so open up this website and here you will find out download the intel driver and support assistant for application to automatically detect and update your Intel driver. So I have already downloaded this driver. If you just go over your Windows search after installation, search for Intel and open up Intel driver and support assistant. Simply press enter and here it will automatically find you the best new driver for your CPU. Now simply check mark on this I understand and wish to proceed. After that click on this download button and download and install these drivers on your PC. So guys now the next step we are going to do two important Windows registry settings on our PC in order to optimize our budget Intel CPU. So for that, go for your Windows search, search for registry editor and make sure to run this as administrator. After that, you need to simply paste here the part I will provide you in the description. Simply paste it here and press enter. This settings will allow you to disable the core parking of your CPU. Therefore, you can get the max performance out of it. So for that, you need to go for this value max, go for modify and you need to change here this value data onto the 100%. Therefore, we can utilize the 100% performance of our CPU. Set the base on the hexadecimal and hit ok now you need to go for value minimum simply go for modify and change the settings onto the zero set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok now for the next step we are going to prioritize over foreground applications so for that copy the next path from the description simply paste it here and press enter this will take you directly into this window now you need to go for win32 priority separation right click here go for this modify and you will find out here this kind of the value data now you need to go for this value data and simply set it onto the 26 set the base onto the hexadecimal and hit ok and save the settings on your pc now in the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows power plan settings, especially for our Intel budget CPU. So for that, go for your Windows search, search for power and open up choose a power plan. Now here select out high performance power plan and you can create a new power plan on your PC. But I suggest you simply go with high performance, then go for the change plan settings. Now set these settings onto the never, go for change advanced power settings and here you will find out this pop up. Now go for high performance, require a password on wake up and set it onto the no. Now go for hard disk, go for turn off hard disk and guys you need to simply set the settings onto the never or set the settings onto the zero. Now scroll down, go for Intel graphic settings, this is important for your Intel GPU. Click on the expand, click onto the Intel graphics power plane and set it onto the maximum performance. Now scroll down, go for processor, power management, click on the expand button. Now go for minimum processor state and maximum processor state. Click on the expand button and set these both values onto the 100%. Now hit apply, click OK and close out of your Windows power plan. 
Okay, so guys, now the next step, we are going to optimize our CPU using the power control. So for that, you need to download power control on your PC. Link will be available down in the description. All the files which I've used in this video, you can find out from my link in the description. So guys, once you download this power control on your PC, now you need to go for CPU settings for the power profile. Click on this drop down and set it on the high performance power plane, which we just created or selected in our Windows power plane. Now click on the make activate. Here you can check it out here over all. 16 of 16 cores are active right now now go for your plugged in ac settings for your desktop pc and on battery for your laptop now you need to go for parking and frequency scaling set it off and set the settings onto the 100 percent now go for heterogeneous policy set it on the standard parking and short thread and long thread use the same exact settings also on your pc now go onto the on battery dc for your laptops now also set the settings onto the off and this will automatically set these values onto the 100%. Now go for heterogeneous policy. Use the standard parking for the short and long thread. Set it onto the automatic. Now click on the supply button and apply these changes into the power control on your PC. Now after that, click on this OK button and this application will always keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Now for the next step, you need this optimizer on your windows in order to optimize your windows settings and removing all the load fields from your PC. So guys, you can find out the link in the description. You can download it from there. So once you download, simply double tap and open up this application. Inside in the general tab, you will find out the system settings. So guys, turn on all the settings from here. This will optimize your performance and remove all the unused services of your windows. Now go for disk drive, disable super fetch and disable the hibernation. After that, go for the app section and guys, turn off all the settings on your PC by enabling this option. Now go for privacy and also enable this option and disable all the settings on your PC. Now go for the next step that is for your Windows 11. Now here you will find that your system. So guys follow the same with the settings. Now go for privacy. Make sure to turn on all the settings. Go for gaming. Turn on this option. Go for the touch and turn on the settings and this will disable all the unused services from your PC. Now let's go for the next step there you will find that uninstall unwanted application and from here you can find that all the application installed on your pc and you can uninstall all the unwanted application from here this can clean your pc and also make your pc faster now you need to go for the startup app make sure to guys disable all the unused services from here now go for the apps tab simply leave it to go for the cleaner and from here check mark onto the temporary files bfod mini dumps error reports empty recycle bean check mark on all this option after that click on this analyze button and here it will find out all the junk file of your pc that is 173 mb now click on this clean button and guys remove all this junk from your pc now go for network tab select out here your network adapter go for uh, the google dns from this list after that click on this set dns option and apply the settings on your pc this will optimize your ping and your network speed now after that, now simply close out of this tool. So guys, now the next step here is another important tip for you. That is guys, you need to manage your cooling and temperature of your PC or your laptop. Make sure guys, keep the temperature of your CPU less than 80 degrees Celsius. Therefore, you can get the best performance out of your PC or laptop on your Intel CPU. So guys, now the next step, we are going to optimize our Windows memory. That is our RAM. And guys, for that, you need at least 16 GB of the RAM on your PC in order to get the best performance in Fortnite. But if you have the 8 GB of the RAM, so guys, you can go on my YouTube channel and watch this specific video in order to optimize your 8 GB RAM for the fortnite so guys now the final and the last step we are going to disable all the unnecessary startup application and services so for that right click on your taskbar open up the task manager now from here you need to go for startup apps and here you will find that all the apps installed on your pc now sorted it from the startup impact now from the high to none and guys you need to disable all the unused or unimportant application from here so here we got our real client this is important for the valorant epic games this is important for the fortnite then here we have disabled the steam that also impacting the high impact now here we got our discord 
we have also disabled it then here we go the light shoot this is for the screenshot and also medium impact don't worry about it and guys i have already disabled all the unused and unimportant applications from here after that you need to go for a service tab here you will find that all the services on your pc i'm using right now the custom os that is the atlas os and this has disabled a lot of services already on my pc if you want to watch the full video how to install this custom gaming os on your pc so you can also watch this video or by simply you can also do the settings like simply press w from your keyboard and you will find out here this valid service to disable or stop the service from your pc now you need to press s from your keyboard and find out this main service so guys scroll down and find out this main service from this list now right click and stop the service on your pc now you just scroll all the way down and here you will find that xbox services so also stop all the service on your pc so guys at the end here you will find out these two videos you can guys watch any of this video in order to get the best performance on your low end intel cpu by optimizing your ram and by installing the atlas os so guys please make sure to let me know your input about this optimization in the comment down below and guys see you again in the next video